Hi, so I'm going to show you how to make this cute little mesh top today, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and put the graphic on the screen that you'll need for this with the chart. And it's much easier to follow the chart than have a page of writing, okay? Uh, it's very simple, it's similar to some other ones I've done before. It's just double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and that is the entire pattern, okay? So you're going to need a, a four millimeter hook. That's what I've used for this one. For this, I've just measured my shoulders and gone ahead and chained the length to match that, which was around 90, 91. I think it's 91. For this pattern, you're going to want your chain length in a multiple of three, okay? So it looks small, but you're going to see how it works out. Okay. So go ahead and make your chain length, and then I have... Um, made this piece. So this is about 20 centimeters long, unstretched, okay? About 36 across. And you just do that until you get the required length that you want. And then here I've made the shoulder portions and it's just two rows. I've just stopped at seven double crochets, turned and gone across. But you have the option to change that to make it as thick as you want, okay? So, two pieces identical. Once you've done that, we're going to seam them together. On one of them, you want to leave a tail end on either side that's long enough to sew it to the next one, okay? And uh, I'll come back when that's done, okay? <laughs> Okay, it's just a simple stitch with a needle. I don't know if you can see here. I'm just sewing it together, all seven double crochets, in and out of every stitch, okay? Hang on. Hi, okay. So, I'm back and I have the two pieces sewn together. And it does look a little bit small, but once it's on, it's actually okay. So, it was just very simply sewn together here with a normal darning needle okay it's quite a thick it's quite a big chunky one i have here and um, so that's it next thing we're going to do is put it on so what i did for the last one was i just start a new a new um color I start a new color and I'll join it around the bottom and then I'll come back and show you. Yeah, so this is it on right now with the shoulders and I think it looks quite good so it's just joining uh, it together now. Now if you think it's really short kind of is okay so you could make a much longer version of it and then that's it almost finished and it just depends on you how much you want to sew up here okay okay so I've joined my yarn here at the bottom I'm using a different color and I'm just going to go all the way around and when I'm at the side at the join I'll show you what that looks like Okay, so I have joined it together and I don't know if you can see clearly here. This is how I've done it. Oh, I've got it twisted. Okay, try not to get yours twisted. So mine is twisted here as you can see and I probably will not be able to fix that. But it doesn't matter. The other side is not twisted, okay? 
So it was just uh, the last double crochet at the end of the row and then a chain two and then a double crochet over to the next side and then all the way around and then the same when you get to the end of the row chain five turn and go back okay okay so that's how that looks and I'll probably do a few centimeters more of this down here and then I'll show you what it looks like okay okay so this is what the top looks like right now as you can see, I've run out of this dark red color, so I just joined this one on, and I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've done nine rows, okay? The top is still a little bit short on, but I'm quite happy with it. And there you can see the join there. Very easy and very quick, an easy TV project, okay? Okay, so I'm going to make this one with some sleeves and I'm going to rejoin the yarn right here and probably do exactly the same mesh all the way around and we'll see how that looks, okay? Okay, so this is the finished top. I've completed the sleeves. And from where it was previously, here to out here, that is about 14 rows. On either side, actually, I think one of them's 15, one of them's 14. I messed it up, but you can't tell. I'm really happy with it, and I think it's a little bit different for a change. So, in a minute, I'll just give you a recap. Oh, and this was still the same pattern as here, all the way around. Slip stitch to join the round, turn, change direction, and go. Very easy. Still perfect for my lizard. Right, where is he? Okay, so these are new shorts as well, so they're super tight, but yeah, yeah, I do like the sleeves on this. I think it's a good pattern. 